of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the Long Rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Take him a while to get here. Take one of the Indians, go up a piece and see how many they are. What's the use of that? They've got five men, three women, and a young girl. That's what they started with. How do you know more didn't join them? Because I was right there when they left. What difference does it make anyway? When we jump them, they'll act like all the rest. One of these bright days, you're gonna walk right into a hornet's nest. Just because you're too lazy to look things over. We not go come. See? Where is he? Talk to warrior. We'll get rid of him. Do the young warriors forget their honor? Do they forget that peace was made? Shut up. I have lived many moons. You've lived too long, that's your trouble. Now look, either you do it your way or I'll do it mine. But this time, get rid of him. Take him. You go with him, see it's done right. For many moons, Wisdom of Winachko bring great things to Onida. We have peace and food for our stomach. Then white man come, steal our land. Make peace with white man no good. Bring trouble. Now me, Shinabi medicine man, drive white man back to big water. This time, Take scalps. I told you, no scalps. I don't want anybody killed or we'll have the troop moving in on us. Just get those horses and wagons. We'll meet you at the lake. Well, get going. <laughs> We were ambushed. They took our wagons. Who did? Indians. What tribe? I don't know. They all look alike to me. Is anyone badly hurt? No, thank God. But what are we going to do? Everything we own is in those wagons. We'll try and get your wagons back for you. Meantime, you'd better make camp here. Here? Were those Indians nearby? They won't bother you again. They got what they wanted. What Indians dress like? Well, they look like ordinary Indians. There was something funny, though. They had a feather sticking down the side of their heads. Onidas. That's funny. The Onidas have a treaty about wagons passing through here. Must be bad trouble. Onidas break treaty. Say, you're a Hawkeye, aren't you? That's right. This is Chingachgook. I heard about you back at the settlement. My name's Talbot. We'll do all we can for you, Mr. Talbot. We'll trail the wagons and try to get them back. Meantime, you'd better make camp for the women. But we have nothing to... You have guns. There's plenty of deer here in the woods. We'll be back by nightfall. Monachko, medicine man of Onida tribe. Who did this to you? White men who steal wagons. With the Nido warriors. Uh, bad. Nachko, make peace. Shinabi, great peace. A white man helped this Shinabi? Two. Like snake. Uh, bad. Where they take wagon? 
Little water. We'd better get over there and take a look. You want to return to the village or go with us? You go catch wagon, I go too. Uh, it's your turn, Shinobi. What'll you have? This for Shinobi. That's not in the deal. That food goes with the wagons. Shinobi take food, make squaw glad. Now, wait a minute, Shinobi. We need that food to sell. If you take that, we're out of business. Shinobi take food. You take wagons. It is so. Now, look here. This has gone far enough. You don't get any food, and that's final. Take the food. Who are the white men? One called Jake Collins. What are they doing with the wagons? White man steal wagon. Take, catch, and take away. Sell wagon, white man. Catch. Take wagon, sell wagon, white man. Catch. So that's it. He sells the wagons, gets the Indians to steal them, and then sells them again. Everybody blame Indian. They're getting ready to move out. Let's make sure which way they're headed. We'll go back and talk to Talbot. Find out anything about the wagons? You bought those horses and wagons from a man named Jake Collins, didn't you? Yes, that's right. What's that got to do with it? Well, he's the one who took them away from you. You're sure not making sense. Those were Indians who attacked us and took the outfit. Well, it looked it all right, but Collins is the one who put them up to it. We just saw his partner dividing the loot with the Indians he used to attack you. Where'd you see that honorary snake? We'll get those wagons back if we have to shoot up the whole territory to do it. With the whole Onita tribe in back of him, the only ones who'll get shot up are you and your men. Besides, Collins is on his way with those wagons. That mean they on trail to Otsego village. Otsego? He'll take the outfit, sell it to some other settlers, and pull the same stunt on them. But what are we gonna do? That money was all we could scrape together between us. Now we're stuck here. Can't go forward or back. Well, the way I see it, we'll just make Jake Collins give those wagons back to you. How can you? Well, I, I haven't figured it out yet. But Chingachgook and I better get to Otsego before Collins does. And you really think you can get our wagons back? We'll get them back for you one way or another. We better be on our way. Thanks, Hawkeye. Well, I've told you what's going on, Mr. Moore. As manager of the trading post, you represent whatever law there is here in Otsego. You can be right about Jake Collins, but we'll have to take more than just your word for it. That's what I'm here for, to get the proof. But I'll need the help of some of your Otsego people to do it. Well, I don't know. Well, you people are the ones who are going to get hurt, if I'm right. If this area gets a bad reputation, wagon trains running into all kinds of trouble, you might as well close up your trading post right now. Look. See those horses and wagons? That's the same outfit he sold to Jim Talbot two weeks ago and had the Indians steal back for him. What do you want us to do? I'm going to buy that outfit with your money. And I'm going to take a wagon train into the wilderness with some of your women and kids. But before I'm through, I hope to run Jake Collins plumb out of business.
Interested in buying the outfit? Maybe. Hmm. Where are you heading, mister? Kentucky. It's a long way. We need a good outfit. What you asking? Fifty pounds. That includes everything. The harness, wagons fixed for sleeping, a couple of spare wheels. Too much. Forty pounds is more like what we were figuring on. Well, where you're going, money don't mean much. Might as well give it to me. What do you say we split the difference, make it 45? Shake, you just made yourself a deal. Come with me, I'll get your bill of sale. Thank you, ladies. There's your wagon right over there waiting to take you back. We might be wasting a lot of time with this kind of nonsense. Well, your women had a couple hours wagon ride, that's all. Nice change in routine for them. They'll be safe enough back in Otsego. What about us? You might as well enjoy a wagon ride yourself. There won't be much to do until Jake Collins and his Indians decide to pay us a visit. All right, man. Up in the wagons. Wagon train, squaw or leave. White warrior take place. What's he saying, Jack? Well, it's clear enough. That frontiersman that calls himself Hawkeye, he's the one that bought the outfit from us. So now he's trying to set a trap for us. What we do? I never heard of a game yet that two couldn't play at. So he wants to set a trap for us, does he? All right, we'll let him. Only the way we're going to play it, he's the one who's going to get caught. Not yet. What are you waiting for? Just keep him guessing for a while. this quick. He's just been leading us on a wild goose chase. I can't figure it. Unless they saw us make the switch for the women. Well, whatever it was, at least we've got our wagons back. Thanks. Mr. Talbot, if you start out again with those wagons, Collins will just have them back again, and maybe this time someone will be killed. You had your chance, Hawkeye, and you didn't make it. It's cost us 45 pounds. We're going to hold you responsible for it. I'm inclined to agree with Mr. Moore. Jake Collins has quit. 
I don't think we'll have any more trouble out there. Well, I don't agree with you, but it looks like I'm voted down. So take the wagons. I suppose you're going to start out anyway. We sure are. We start tomorrow. I think you're wrong, and I advise you to be on your guard. You find trouble? I guess I picked up all that was loose. We go into forest. No trouble there. We go now. First, I've got some business to attend to. Where we go? Well, I'll go alone to the Oneida village. I want to find out just what the tie-up is between Jake Collins and the Onidas. But if I'm not back by this time tomorrow, you come and look for me. Hawkeye. Well, so it is. The great Hawkeye himself, eh? What are you going to do with him? Tie to stake. Him suffer long. That's a good idea. Killing's too easy for him. Where's that Indian partner of yours? I said, where's that Indian partner of yours? I'd like to find out just how tough you are when you're by yourself. Time to the stake. Ready to go? We're leaving now. I just wanted to thank you for your help. We not want thanks. Hawkeye not here. Better you stay till he come back. Just can't do that, Chingachgook. Looks to us like your friends got the wind up about Collins and those Indians for nothing. Tell Hawkeye thanks for us anyway when he gets back. We tell. All right, get him rolling. Time I look for Hawkeye, like he say. You stay. Be back soon. I'm sure glad to see you. <laughs> you not come. Me look. Me no trouble. Me see Collins and Braves in forest. Moore and his men are still on the trail out Sago. Find them. Tell them they're setting a new trap and there's real danger. Tell them to get back here fast. Me do. This ought to be perfect. As soon as they hit the meadow there, we'll have them. Wait! I bring message from Hawkeye. There's new trap, great danger. What's this, more scare talk? Collins and Shinavi wait at Big Meadow for wagon train.
You'll have to hold up your wagons, Mr. Talbot. What for? Collins and the Onitas. They're waiting for you on the edge of Big Meadow. Now, see here, Hawkeye. We've been through this before. We've taken a vote. The party wants to move on. We're moving. I don't know. We've been traipsing through the woods all day long. Haven't seen hide nor hair of Collins or the Indians. Well, I see. Hawkeye, see. This time they after scalp. If you not come, Talbot party die. All right. We'll go along with you once more, but if nothing happens You'll this fall. time... You'll be easy. Nobody driving but women. Men scared, like rabbits. Ready, men? Now! <laughs> skunks I ever did see in these here parts. We ought to take those two and... Mr. Talbot, I think Mr. Moore can take care of them in the proper fashion. You bet I can. All right, boys, tie them up. We'll take them back to Otsego with us. Just a minute. I think we have a little unfinished financial business to take care of first. Mr. Talbot, how much do you figure your supplies were worth? Forty pounds. Give it to him. And I'll just take 45 pounds back. Where you're going, money won't do you much good. Thanks. Right. All right, boys, time up. Well, why not join us? Kentucky's a great country. Well, we'll get out there one of these days. But right now, Chingachgook and I have got our traps to look after. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans.